Okay, let's talk about how you can leverage Twitter to market your lead magnet and make a few more course sales. So Twitter obviously is a huge social media platform and there are thousands and thousands of blog posts and strategies and marketing techniques and tricks and grow hack methods that you can do to use Twitter. But I'm gonna keep this very simple because as a course creator, the most valuable asset you have is your time, especially until after you've created your first online course. So I'm going to show you the bare bones essentials of what you should do with Twitter as you're creating your course. So here's your account. Of course, first, you wanna make sure that your profile is up to snuff. So make sure you have a good bio, make sure this is professional, make sure it's ready for people to see it. Here, you can add a link to your course sales page. Hey, it never hurts. And your email address. When you're just starting out, it could be good to include an email address so people can reach out to you and easily find you, although not required. So there are two ways you should use Twitter. One, to work with influencers and get the attention of influencers to help market your lead magnet or course. And two, to build your social media presence and get the word out about your lead magnets or new content. So pretend my course is on webinars. If you look up influencers in the space, Mariah Cause certainly is one. And you can see she has over 5,000 Twitter followers. If you're just starting out, you should look for people between 1,000 and 5,000 followers. These are people who are at your level and will definitely get back to you. Your biggest influencers in the space will be those from 5 to 30. And the people that are somewhat out of range are anyone above 30,000. It's not that you can't reach out to them, but the likelihood that they'll respond unless you really go above and beyond is unlikely. So here we've got Mariah. What I might do, so here we've got Mariah. What I might do is find a tweet I could respond to. I would retweet a few things here and there. I would start following her so she sees your handle pop up a couple of times. Retweet and then tweet at her uh, just to get her attention. And what you can eventually do after maybe you've retweeted or mentioned a couple of things is a few days down the line, tweet at her and say, hey Mariah, I mentioned you in my lead magnet. Uh, do you wanna take a look and share? And she probably will. Or you can simply tweet at her and be like, hey Mariah, you're awesome, check this out. Um, that probably will have a lower return on investment, but it's totally possible. So when you're picking influencers in your space, you want to keep a list and keep a list of people you're in touch with, who you've reached out to, and who you'd ideally like to connect with. And then simply start tweeting at them here and there, make it part of your schedule and get to know these people that way. The second thing you should do is promote your lead magnet by writing tweets about it. So this is pretty simple. We all know that a tweet is 160 characters and you can make a bit.ly for your lead magnet link and include that. You want to be as entertaining as possible, find your, find your voice, put it out there. And for small businesses, they say we should be tweeting around five to seven times per day. Use a program like Buffer, um, Hootsuite, or Edgar. And I know Buffer has a free option to schedule your tweets for you. That way you can batch all of the work at once and schedule them out. You'll also get a sense this way for when your audience is reading your work. So we know here at Teachable, about 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. on weekdays is a good time for us to tweet. That has the highest engagement. I also want to show you how I take a piece of content like this blog post and turn it into tweets. So whenever I publish something new, I of course tweet about it and I'll include a bit.ly and a link to the headline. But something very easy to do is simply take your H2s and turn those into tweets. So anything bold. Turn this into a question. Need help writing a welcome email? Want to know how to write a welcome email? Write the best welcome email with a link. Also, if you've created images, like this one at the top, utilize that. People respond much more to visuals on Twitter than they do to tweets that don't have it. So simply write a tweet, include this visual, which will take up 23 characters and a bit.ly. I always say that writing tweets is like writing a haiku because you're in such a small constraint, but it works, you'll get there. Another thing you can do is anyone who you've mentioned in a blog post, you should tweet at all of these people telling them that you mentioned them and that they should check out your link or this piece of content. 
So especially if your lead magnet is an email course that might reference someone else or checklists that mention someone else's product, reach out to them over Twitter. So yes, again, there are hundreds of other Twitter strategies you can employ, but this is a good basis and what you should be focusing on as you start your online course.